Right, the ball is about to get underway then. Meryl Smith with the duties as it sails into the Newcastle sky. You can tell there's nerves out there already as it just bobbles around on the floor. Knocked on by England there. Poffy Cleal. She doesn't care how many people she runs into. One metre short. Aitchison. Reed back inside to McDonald. The first try of England's Six Nations campaign. And it's Claudia McDonald who goes over. Taken them eight minutes. This is not going to be straightforward. And this is a high-paced game. A really nice try, but for me, it's about the build-up, you know. Poppy Cleal, she takes one, two, three, four soccer players in that previous carry -in. We know what a ball carrier and a ball that Amber Reed is. So, Holly Aitchison, nice and flat to the line. Claudia Donald is just sitting on Amber Reed's shoulder. And all that's happened is Helen Nelson's got left behind. Defenders of Scotland have gone up, they've gone high to press her. Packer, Aldcroft, there's numbers on the far side. If England can get it out quickly, Scotland need to recycle. Move that defensive line round, push to the far side. Burn again, always in that first receiver slot for the time being. Cleal, support from Aldcroft. They're trying to just disguise slightly where that ball was going. Packer! Well, she knew to get that ball back. She didn't quite have the strength to go over, Reed passed out wide, Amy Kikane! Amy Kikane scores tries, that is just what she does. 32 now for England. We last saw her, saw her scoring three in the World Cup final. That is her bread and butter. She throws in the ball occasionally as well. I mean, bread and butter, she is hanging in the five metre line like all good hookers. <laughs> Heather's here laughing, but do you know what it is? This ball starts from her lineup, doesn't it? And what England are doing really well is their stretch in Scotland. Holly Aitchison, seventh background, takes on players, making ground. Lucy Packer's doing a fantastic job of moving this ball quickly. And England have just got such good ball carriers. Marley Packer, again, Amber Reid is linking well, and Amy Kikane has just got the vision to watch her play, not panic, not overwork. She's held her channel. Ball comes back to her, and she's got a really nice run in. It was a. Scotland's first World Cup in a very long time. And they didn't win any of their pool games in the end, but they only lost the two of them by two points. As England come away with the ball again. Tuima, breach. McDonald, does she fancy this? A nice step back into, oh, that's lovely by Claudia McDonald. Can she finish? She's being hunted down, but it doesn't matter. McDonald over for her second. And that is some classy, classy running by the extra wing. I mean, she has been doing this all season for Exeter Chief. She did it in the World Cup for England. You know, we saw that try that Abby Dow finished, but was stopped against her that Claudia Starter. But again, England are just playing some really nice first phase. Lani Toomer, she's tailored to the line. She's committing that Scotland winger. And then, you know, Claudia McDonald falling two hand is not making it an easy read for Chloe Rowley. And it's just the pace of finish, isn't it? Puts her pet foot down and she is gone. Absolutely outstanding. Four tries against Fiji at, at the World Cup and just showing her out and then back in. Her running lines are just outstanding. And Chloe Rowley is a fast player. Just that extra turn of pace there. Well, Scotland have had their moments in this match, but often is the story in games for Scotland. They haven't managed to turn them into points. They've actually brought in a psychologist, uh, Aaron Walsh, who works with the Scotland men's team to talk them through those moments and about how they actually can start finishing them off. There's going to be a regular Zoom call every week with him between Brian Eason and Rachel Mark and the captain, and that one ends up on the floor. You've got to remember with England as well, this is the first time they've played since they lost the World no Cup final to England, and I think they're actually uh, putting a few ghosts to bed. Here we go, Sarah Byrne! Kabaya! Over the top there from Nelson, but she's quickly One. dispatched. Aitchison, cocaine again. They are hunting down a bonus point. <laughs> Not even half an hour played here at Kingston Park. Aldcroft. 
Aitchison. Nice then to Carson. The Scottish line has to hold here. Kabea. Packer looks up. Hunter quickly put back down. Aldcroft again. They are just taking their time, punching hole after hole. Patience is key here from England. They're not going to try and do anything silly. Tackle! <laughs> to Ema, pass out to the far side. <laughs> McDonald went over now. She'd be on for a hat trick. Hunter. Cleal popped off to Packer. Six metres left to travel. England hunting down a fourth try at Kingston Park. Here comes Tatiana Hurd! That's her first try for the Red Roses. Her tenth cap today. And a bonus point for England with not even 27 minutes on the clock. Yeah, it could be a long day at the office for Scotland here. I think England, like you say, are putting some uh, demons to bed. You know, they look accurate. They look really dominant when they've got ball in hand. That girl on your screen, Sarah Byrne, again, she fends, she runs over Louise McMillan. And once she's away, she's so difficult. But it's that next bit. She doesn't take the contact, and that's what England are doing so well. We see here, Poppy Cleal looks like she's going to fall well, yeah, nice at Loughlin. And all that does, it commits break, so numerous Scotland defenders, so you've got two or three, four players from Scotland on the on the ground. The rest of their team are struggling to fold, and it's a great try by Tatiana. Big cheer there as Tatiana Hurd gets her first of the afternoon. That's absolutely right. They're committing two defenders um, to the ball carrier, Scotland, and eventually, and they're, they're trying to uh, go out wide, and then they're not refolding back, as you talked about, uh, creating the space back over. Well, you can see there is a, a lot of tartan hats in the background there at that end of the crowd. Probably not so impressed to be seeing England go over again as uh, Simon Middleton looks a bit shocked there. Yes, Simon Middleton, you've got your bonus point up already. It's going well. More. Here it comes. It's over. The heave from the Kingston Park crowd as the machine that has done England so well in many years drives towards the Scotland line. If you can't see the ball, I will tell you right now, Amy Kakane will have it. There it is, it's just peeking out there. And it goes and it goes and it's down. England have five, Kakane has two. Comes back now, Aitchison, cross-field kick, as she put a little bit too much on it, yes. And that is the half. Well, they didn't get a sixth try, but five is none too shabby from England. Scotland haven't quite turned up yet to this fixture. England, they don't care about that World Cup final. It's behind them. They are ready for the new era. And they're showing what they do in the Six Nations. Half time, England 31, Scotland nil. England have got a lot of problems at prop at the moment as they come out to another one. This time it's burnt. And the body at the ball. Hopes they might get Hannah Bottomman back before the end of the campaign. Maud Muir as well, also expected to return. Huge run by Potty Cleal. Oh, hello, Potty Cleal. What an absolutely thumping run. Again, it's just this interlink in play. Amy Kikane, Poppy Cleal there. Sarah Brent probably could have given this to Zoe Allcroft, but actually, like you say, does a very good job to hold it. But for me, Poppy Cleal's subtlety, she doesn't get enough credit from it, you know. We see here Mackenzie Carson again, but this is the one. Absolutely great line. She's come out to in, and she's out. Defence just haven't seen her. And for me, it's one it's a great, great, I suppose, tactic, but also just how clever Poppy Cleal is. Incredible lot of body strength. Oh, cross still going. Not caught Tackle on the first out. occasion. And these missed tackles from Scotland just costing them. Heard nice pass away to Dow. Still Abby Dow. Pass then in the end. Look at the strength from Sadia Kabea. That was pure power, pure skill from a woman.
Chapman, who is only 21 years old. Just her ninth cap today. And England, seven tries on the board. Yeah, I mean, again, made by Abby Dow, but it's England's interplay that is, is causing Scotland so many problems, you know. The, just the offloading out the tackle, the dominance of the line breaks, once they're in behind, they don't want to settle, they don't want to go to ground. Abby Dow fights to get her hands free. And like you say, Sarja Kabea looks like she's been out there for 50 caps. Yeah, really outstanding. Just the line she had yeah. just right on Dow's shoulder and the power there. Evie Gallagher is a strong player as well, and that's real power. It's close. It's over. It's Marley Packer who scores it. Eight tries. They're coming from everywhere. This is just an absolute exhibition match now for England. I'm not really quite sure what Scotland can do at this point, Heather. I think what's really fascinating is how England are utilising their skill set. And like we say, it's been a bit of a kind of a choppy second half has not very accurate. And they just know they have this in their bank, don't they? And it, it must be very hard if you're Scotland now. How, what do you do to stop this? Yeah, I just think it's about territory and again backing one good thing up with another good thing. And again, defence. England are really causing problems uh, on Scotland's left flank. Tima and Breach are really closing closing the door and they're really Scotland are really finding it hard to get any gain, gain down that left wing. But I think just playing more territory and pressurising England more. So we with the opportunity to take this to the half century. Not quite. Yep. <laughs> Six, okay. Eight. Kath O'Donnell is coming onto the field. Right then. Sarah Hunter's rugby career is over. Kingston Park rises, English rugby rises, the whole rugby family rises to recognise one of the greats. 16 years, 141 caps. Sarah Hunter, thank you. Of course, England building towards that big match at Twickenham on the final day of the campaign against France. They'll be hoping More. that they will Over. be trying to win the Six Nations, go for the Grand Slam in front of a record crowd. <laughs> that has been given, and it's Packer again. Because you know what, Marley will put a body where nobody else will, and that is the type of captain. So I think for me, it's a really good decision by Simon. Well, they're a player down, but does it matter? Nope. That is a hat-trick for Marley Packer in the second half. I think she has scored that hat-trick in less than 10 minutes. Well, was she the intended target? Scotland still have it. Big hits going in this time on Elian Clark. Goes towards the far side, still going through Rolly, still close! It's taken 74 minutes, but that will give them something to build from. As they head into the rest of this Six Nations campaign, they finally bust through the dam. Absolutely, it's some absolutely excellent build-up player there. Mary McDonald controlling things, Nelson, and there, Chloe, absolutely fantastic feat. She scored against England in this uh, fixture last year as well at the dam and just great that to get one. She missed, uh, got injured in, against Australia in the World Cup, missed out against New Zealand, so just great to see her back and dancing around defences like that. And it's just a, it's one missed tackle, you know, England haven't made missed many tackles today, but Chloe Rowley, we know how evasive she is. Uh, Ella Vivas has got herself in the line and she's just gone a little bit high. And, and the comfort of the scoreline to go with it as well. Full-time, England 58, Scotland 7.